All right, so for 2021, Vortex has released several new tripods for the tripod line. Two I'm gonna talk about today is the Ridgeview Carbon, which is right here, and the Summit Carbon 2. As you can see, both uh, have a lot of features that are almost exactly the same, and there's some features that are a little bit different. As you can see, the height of both these tripods. For a quick little example, this is how packable the Ridgeview Carbon tripod gets, roughly like 28 inches, and the packability on the Summit Carbon 2 is pretty small. So if you wanna you know, get way back in the backcountry, save a bunch of weight, this is probably gonna be your option. So yeah, this is about 17 and a half, 18 inches, roughly. Just looking at it really quickly. Differences between the two, obviously, besides for the height, this one has three leg extensions, and this guy has four leg extensions total. Um, this is gonna be a little bit more suited for people who wanna stand up in glass. But what I found was really nice about this, because I used this a bunch this past winter, was when I sat down in glass, a lot of times this was the perfect height for me, or I barely had to adjust the lower legs to get to a good glassing height. And I, so that way I could avoid using the center column. Because as you all know, if you increase the center column really high, like if you're using this one, it's gonna add a little bit of wiggle or any sort of wind like that will impact your stability of long range glassing. This one worked really well for me, but I also really liked the packability and how small this one was. And I used actually big optics on both of them. I ran you know, a spotter on this one for a while and I threw a BTX on it. And I also threw my BTX on this little guy as well. As you can see up on top, Vortex has a new two-way pan head. So what's unique about this, if you're sitting here glassing, the lever is gonna actually control locking down everything. So right now I have it twisted locked. I can't go left or right and I can't go up and down. So if you want to glass, you just gotta loosen up a little bit and then you could rotate it around and do it. And I will admit this is, I'm not really used to a two-way pan head. So it took me a little bit to get used to the features of being able to you know, have it loose, but still make it tight enough where it's not gonna like slide around when you're glassing. But for guys who've used this for a long time, this will be a great feature for you. And it's a super compact too. And on top for your head attachment, best thing ever about this is it is Arca Swiss compatible. And everything I run has always been Arca Swiss. So it's easy just to swap whatever thing you have on there, bino adapter, camera, spotting scope. And then you just have to uh, twist this and lock it down. So again, we got both have the columns on it and you also can remove part of the column to get really low, which is a great feature. And down at the bottom of here, you'll notice that there is a hook on here for attaching any sort of weight. So let's say it's kind of windy out, and you're trying to glass, you can, whatever you got handy, a little bag or something like that, throw some rocks in it, and it will enable this tripod to get a lot steadier in the wind. Um, another really neat feature of both of these is it actually has three different leg locking positions. So you can see here, just locked in, locked in right there, and then locked in there. So a lot of times what I like to do with these is let's say I'm glassing, maybe there's a hill, boulders next to me or whatever, I'll kick up one of these legs and then throw it out and then I'll make it so it you know locks in that place or I can have it free and then just sit wherever I need to do. So it'll allow me to glass in some you know maybe unique weird situations. Sometimes there's these cases where you might need to you know get a tripod super super low to the ground. As you can see here if you're trying to go really low right now if I had these both in the same spot it's the center column you know is going to get in the way. So what you can easily do with these is remove the center column that allows you to get lower to the ground if you need to. So you just gotta twist the bottom part of this and boom there you go the center column is now removed. It also removes the hook at the same time. And so now this will allow you to drop your tripod super low so you can do whatever maybe some harvest photos maybe some you know unique glassing situations where you need a low tripod you now have the ability to uh, drop this guy super super low to the ground if you need glass. You can do that with both these tripods. And if you want to actually check out exact specs, like how tall this tripod gets, how short this one gets, different things like that, I did an article on that, so you can check out that in the description below. But now we'll probably showcase what everyone wants to see about is how tall these things are and the functions of the legs. So great feature on the legs, quarter turn, so you don't have to like sit there and twist these for a long time to open them up. As you can see here, it just locks in the quarter and allows you to instantly pull these things out and get them back in super fast. You have to set up a tripod for a quick glassing session. All right, this is so tall as tripod gets, but use the center column, toss away up there. So if you are a giant, you can use this tripod standing up, which is a great feature to have a tripod that can kind of do it all, glass sitting down and glass standing up. And roughly 
I'm six foot five inches tall, so this is a tripod that easily works for me. You know, if I lowered it way down here, I could easily throw my bino adapter on or spotting scope. Probably have to be down here a little bit, and I could easily sit there in glass and do all that standing up. And then on the Sub Summit Carbon 2, you can see that this is why it's really easy to use this. I can just grab them all at once, give them all a quarter turn, and boom, I can open them up really easily. And this would be the max height of the Summit Carbon 2. See, it's a lot shorter. You know, if I pull this one all the way up, if you're a giant. But you're gonna be saving, you know, some weight on this and just pack a bill in your backpack. But I will note too that this one was easy to throw on the side of my backpack. I really didn't notice anything, you know, downgrade about that, but it's just easier for multiple glassing situations. And then one more thing I'll talk about is if you don't, you know, have a need for this head and you have something else that you want to use, you can twist it off and then attach anything, VA5 head, that sort of thing that runs with a quarter 20 stud in the bottom. So both these tripods, new this year for 2021 for Vortex. I've used them quite a bit and they are great. Easy to set up, easy to use, very good functionality and they're made out of carbon fiber. So they are really lightweight. Yet you can, like I said before, handle a big optic if you need to. So you can actually check those out in the gear shop today. All right, so some of the questions we always get is which tripod would you maybe use in different situations or is there an ideal tripod? And for a guy who you know, might go on some backcountry hunts or we might do some like truck style or you know, camping on a mountain next to your vehicle and you can afford to have a little bit, you know, not as weight conscious, you might opt towards a tripod that's a little bit bigger because it could allow you to stand in glass. Like I don't, don't do a lot of standing in glassing, but for like spring bear hunts, late season rifle hunts, a lot of times I might be standing in glassing. It's gonna allow me to see over a bunch of vegetation that might be in front of me. So I might opt for a taller tripod. But there's those times when you're gonna go steep deep in some nasty country where weight's gonna be everything and you don't really need anything that's gonna be big or bulky. And you might not stand a lot because when you stand, you're obviously you know, more visible to animals and that sort of thing and you're more apt to get some vibrations in the wind. This is gonna be the guy you're gonna wanna look at because it's just so light, so packable. Again, it's just a tiny, tiny tripod but you can still use it in a lot of situations. You can kneel and that sort of thing. You don't need to stand all the time. So you're looking to save some weight. This is gonna be your tripod you wanna look at. So different use cases, but if you want an all around, do everything tripod, you only wanna buy one, this will definitely get you by. But if you're the type of person, you might want two different setups, a really lightweight one, and then any sort of other big one, you have your options there. All right, so again, if you wanna check out more of the specs on both these tripods, did an article on that. You can find that down in the description below. They're also available at the Go Hunt Gear Shop right now. And as always, if you guys have any questions about either of these tripods or you know thoughts on the head, thoughts on the legs, that sort of thing, drop them in the comments below. Definitely get back to you guys and good luck this fall.